With the goal of longevity, a major premise of the channel is to optimize biomarkers of as many organ systems as possible. With that in mind, resting heart rate and heart rate variability provide info about the heart, but also the nervous system and adrenal gland, which is what we can see here. So resting heart rate and heart rate variability are impacted by the balance between the sympathetic nervous system with the parasympathetic nervous system, more specifically, the vagus nerve, but also it's impacted by the adrenal gland, which releases norepinephrine and epinephrine, which has effects on resting heart rate and heart rate variability. In this video, we'll cover what's optimal for resting heart rate and heart rate variability in terms of how do these variables change during aging. And also, what's my data as I now have more than uh, or close to 1800 days of tracking. So first, how does the resting heart rate change during aging? And that's what we can see here. And this is WHOOP data. I'm not affiliated or sponsored, but this is what I've worn since 2018. On the y-axis, we've got the average resting heart rate plotted against age. And this is within the 20 to 50 year age range. And there we can see that the resting heart rate increases for both men and women up to 50 years. Data for men in blue, data for women in red. But what about older than 50 years? And that's what we can see here. This is a study in Fitbit users of about 90,000 Fitbit users. Same setup, average resting heart rate on the y-axis plotted against age, but now we can see that the age range goes from 20 to 85 years. And in agreement with WHOOP's data, we can see that the resting heart rate does indeed increase up until about 50 years old, after which it declines. So with that in mind, note that relatively low resting heart rates are found in both young and old or advanced age. So is a relatively low resting heart rate indicative of youth or aging? That's where heart rate variability comes in as it provides more context. So for that context, how does the heart rate variability change during aging? And that's what we'll see here. On the y-axis, we've got the root mean squared of successive differences, RMSSD. This is the version of heart rate variability that WHOOP provides. And on the x-axis, we've got age within the 20 to 60 year age range. And then there are two lines. There are two, the solid lines and the dashed lines. The solid lines are heart rate variability at six in the morning and the dashed are at six at night. Regardless of which plot is used, we can see that the heart rate variability declines during aging. So now we can address this question of is a relatively low resting heart rate indicative of youth or aging? As in younger ages, we can see a low resting heart rate or a relatively low resting heart rate in conjunction with a relatively high heart rate variability. However, at advanced ages, we'd expect to see a low resting heart rate in conjunction with a low heart rate variability. All right, so the first six months of 2023 have now passed. So is my first two quarters, Q1 and Q2 of 2023, my data for resting heart rate and heart rate variability, is that improved year over year when compared with 2022? So let's start off by taking a look at my average yearly resting heart rate. And again, this is from August of 2018 when I first started tracking through the end of June of 2023. And we can see by the end, that's how many days of data that I have. And here's how it looks for resting heart rate since 2018. And note that I covered resting heart rate changes over these time period, over this time period in earlier videos. And I'll put a few in the right corner. So if you missed that, check it out. But since 2018, we can see that I've signif significantly reduced my resting heart rate from 50.9 beats per minute to 45 beats per minute. And again, Woo provides this data automatically. There's no user error involved. It provides it automatically every morning. So I've reduced it from 50.9 to 45 beats per minute. And that was from 2018 to 2022. And we can see by the p-value versus 2018, each year has been better than, or each, uh, 2022 has been better than 2018. And also in year over year changes, each year has been significantly lower than the last. But what about 2023? That's why we're all here to see if I've improved so far when compared with 2022. So far over the first six months, my average resting heart rate is 43.7 beats per minute, which when compared with when, where I started in 2018 is significantly lower. And also when compared with 2022 is also significantly lower. So off to a good, so, good start for the resting heart rate significantly reduced in 2022. But when I say that it's off to a good start, Remember that is a relatively low resting heart rate indicative of youth or aging. As we can see here, we can see that the low resting heart rates are found in youth, 20 year olds, but also at advanced ages. So am I just experiencing an age related decline for the resting heart rate since 2018? How would we know? So for more context, let's have a look at heart rate variability data over this same time period. And that's what we can see here. And just like we did for resting heart rate, 
I covered 2018 to 2022 heart rate variability changes in earlier videos, so I won't rehash that data. But over that time span, I've increased, significantly increased my heart rate variability of 47.3 in 2018 to 59.3 in 2022. But what about 2023? That's why we're here. Have I improved year over year and when compared with where I started in 2018? Thus far in 2023, my average heart rate variability for the first six months of 2023 is 63.9 milliseconds, which is a 35% increase when compared with where I started in 2018. And that's a significant improvement. As we can see, the p-value is less than 0.05 when compared with 2018 data. And it's also significantly better when compared with 2022 data. In other words, 63.9 over the first six months is significantly higher when compared with 2022 data of 59.3, or actually of all the individual data points. That's just, just the average. So now we can address this question of, is a relatively low resting heart rate indicative of youth or aging in my case? Because based on chronological age, based on the plots that I've shown in this video, we'd expect to see 35 for heart rate variability and 57 for resting heart rate based on my chronological age of a, 50, a little more than 50 years. But thus far in 2023, my averages for heart rate variability and resting heart rate are 64, 44, which is relatively youthful based again on the plots that I've shown in this video. So what I haven't shown yet though is what's contributing to improvements for resting heart rate and heart rate variability in 2023. And I'll cover that in the next video on Sunday. So see you then. All right, that's all for now. If you're interested in more about my attempts to biohack aging, check us out on Patreon. And before you go, we've got a whole bunch of discount links and merch that you may be interested in, including discount links for at-home metabolomics, NAD quantification, green tea, epigenetic testing, oral microbiome composition, at-home blood testing with SciFox Health, which note that their panel is almost exclusively different than the at-home metabolomics and includes ApoB, which I covered in an earlier video, diet tracking, or if you'd like to support the channel, you can do that with the website, Buy Me A Coffee. We've also got merch. So if you're interested in wearing the Conquer Aging or Die Trying brand, that link and all of the other links will be in the video's description. Thanks for watching. I hope that you enjoyed the video. Have a great day.